Um, so in this example, basically what they're asking you to do is define sine cosine tangent. Well, if you guys look at these reciprocal, if you guys look at all these trigonometric identities or trigonometric functions, to evaluate for sine, cosine, or tangent of an angle, you have to know what the adjacent, the opposite, and the hypotenuse is, correct? Yes? Do we know what the adjacent, opposite, and hypotenuse are? Well, we know adjacent and opposite, but we don't know the hypotenuse. So I need to use Pythagorean theorem. Hey, guess what? That focus lesson is being used inside class. Cool. So therefore, 8 squared is going to be 64 plus 3 squared, which is 9, equals c squared. 64 plus 9 is going to be a 73 equals c squared. Square root, square root. c equals the square root of 73. Can I simplify square root of 73? Do I have any square numbers that divide into 73? Not that I'm aware of. So we determine that my theta is right here, right? So remember, if you know where our theta is, the side length that connects theta with your 90 degree angle is your adjacent side, always. The side that is directly across from the 90 degree angle is your hypotenuse. Well, there's only three sides of a triangle. So if you found out adjacent and you found out op hypotenuse, by process of elimination, you can determine that this side is your opposite side. The adjacent side is whatever angle you're referring to, right? In this side, in this time, we're referring to theta. Theta is right there. It's the side that connects your angle with your 90 degree angle. So now we just have fun. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Let's do this in different colors. I know, isn't that exciting? Different colors. So that's 3 over the square root of 73. Get used to rationalizing the denominator. You're going to be doing it a lot. Does everybody understand how I did sign? OK, now we do cosine. Cosine is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. So that is 8 square root of 73. Since you guys are going to do this so many times, you'll probably realize that, wow, I don't even need to show rationalizing the root. I can probably just know what the answer is going to be 8 square root of 73 over 73. The goal is for you guys to do so many of these problems that you don't always have to do it step by step. You can start doing these really, really quickly. Otherwise, your homework will take like four hours to do. So you've got to start making little tricks and trades and go move that forward. Over here, tangent is opposite over adjacent. 3 over 8. Over here, the cosecant Remember cosecant, guys, remember it's just the reciprocal of sine. So I'm just going to reciprocate this. Square root of 73 over 3. Secant, just the reciprocal of that. Square root of 73 over 8. You don't want to reciprocate these, because if you reciprocate this, what happens? A radical's in the denominator, then you have to rationalize the denominator again, right? So you don't want to reciprocate that. And then this one is 8 over 3. And that's it. I think you guys have like three problems on your homework, or four or five like that. And you just practice over and over and over again.